established in 1998 with a very generous gift from Alec and Adelaide Hickson. They had served with the UN Development Program for five years in Accra, Ghana, and also for three years in Apia, Western Samoa. And they were deeply affected by their time living in these cities, very interested in the way in which these cities were developing, their surrounding environment. I should note that Alec Hickson was um, from uh, a graduate of, uh, of, of Yale. And they had connected with Gus Beth, who was also a graduate of Yale. And he was uh, the leader of the UNDP for nine years before he became the dean of this school in 1999. And so Alec and Adelaide had a vision to establish a center here at Yale that would study the urban environment. And they were interested in a center that would have global impact. So for the last 25 years, the Hickson Center has, has convened and has collaborated. We have supported research of students and faculty here in New Haven, but really all around the world. And we've used our convening power to bring together leaders, thought leaders, scholars, practitioners to discuss pressing urban environmental issues. Last year, we brought together uh, key authors from the IPCC report to discuss how cities can be solutions to climate change. So we've been, we've had a pretty successful track record over the last uh, 25 years. Today, I'm really pleased to announce that we are embarking on a, a new era of the Hickson Center. We're building on 25 years of strength and we will rebrand the Hickson Center as the Hickson Center for Urban Sustainability. And the idea is to widen the lens of scholarship and inquiry to, and really focus on bridging science with practice. And I here really want to thank Dylan Hickson and his family for their generosity and continued support for this research because I think we all would agree that it is an incredibly important topic today more than ever and the Hicksons really had vision in establishing this more than 25 years ago. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the first speaker today. And I just want to note that we're going to keep the introductions of our speakers really, really short. We've got incredible leaders from around the world, from in the US, and we could spend pretty much the entire conference just listing off their uh, resume. So their bios are online in the conference program. I'm just going to keep this really short. So our first speaker, our keynote this morning, is Beatra Wilson. She is the Assistant Director for Cooperative Forestry and leads the Urban and Community Forest Program for the U.S. Forest Service. I want to underscore that she, this program is the only program in the federal agency that is focused on urban forestry. Under her leadership, the urban forestry budget has grown from 32 million, 32 million to 1.5 billion this year with major grants announced just yesterday. So please join me in welcoming Beatra Wilson. <laughs> 